Good morning and a very happy Wednesday to you. My name is Matt Davis and I am one of the elders at Emmanuel, uh, looking after the Shoreham location to the west of our city. Uh, this morning I've got the privilege of taking us into uh, the Bible book of Daniel. Daniel is uh, one of the prophet books that sits in our uh, canon of scripture and uh, we're going to uh, just touch on uh, some pretty huge themes over the coming weeks, if that's in your Bible plan. And uh, today I'm just looking at chapters one and two. And uh, the Bible book of, of Daniel uh, is is an intriguing piece of, of writing, which touches on some huge themes, as we will uh, discover. Um, today in particular, um, it looks at some of the themes like, uh, you know, when, when all is lost, uh, God is still at work and uh, even through all of history god is is sovereign that might be a question on your lips this morning even with this this covid pause that we find ourselves in uh, all of us um, battling and struggling in, in one way or another with it and to different degrees uh, but um, what we know about god is that he is sovereign and he is always at work which is great news so a little bit of uh, context here, uh, you've got Daniel and his three buddies, Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego. Those were actually the names given to them by their captors. So the, the Babylonians had come in, they'd uh, taken a hold of uh, Jerusalem and brought many of the people of God, the, Is the Israelites, out of uh, uh, Jerusalem into Babylon. And uh, Daniel and his buds would have been from the royal uh, royal line of David, King David. And uh, and so these guys had been um, brought into service of uh, the king at the time, King Nebuchadnezzar. And Daniel finds himself uh, in a situation where he is being um, raised up, as it were. He just, the Bible describes um, he and his friends as youths. So they would have been young men growing up they were being educated by the babylonians they were being fed uh, the rich and sumptuous foods of the king's house and uh, they were basically being um, raised up to be uh, councils and uh, uh, close aides of the king uh, designed to advise him and help him in his in his reign Daniel would have come from uh, obviously the, the the Jewish nation, and and we we read quite quickly that he's he's having a bit of a battle with this food that that he and his friends are being asked to eat. Very rich, uh, probably all sorts of um, unclean foods uh, that would have been unclean to the Jewish nation. So a big dilemma going on in his heart, a, a moral and ethical dilemma, perhaps. And uh, he makes this very bold request. He says, look, please just, can we just eat veg? We just like to eat vegetables. Um, and he's, he asks his, his uh, captor, look, can you just do that? Can you allow us to do that for a short while? And reluctantly, he says, OK, you've got 10 days. And uh, after 10 days, these guys get presented to the king. And they are the healthiest, strongest, liveliest looking guys uh, in the house. And uh, I, this is not a plug necessarily for vegetarianism. Uh, be that as it may, it's, that's, vegetarianism is, is fantastic, if that's your thing, no problem whatsoever. Um, brilliant. Lovely. Love vegetables. Broccoli is my favourite. And um, the, the, the idea here is that Daniel uh, wants to stay faithful to the word of God. He wants to stay faithful to, to God's law. And guess what? God honours it. That's what he does. Uh, when we are faithful uh, to God's law, when we are faithful to scripture, when we are faithful to Jesus, it gets honoured. Uh, that's a, a, just a way of summarising what I'm saying here. And, and Daniel was obviously clocked. My faithfulness will mean things will go well for me. And we're going to read on in days to come about how God rescues Daniel uh, from one situation to another. And so what happens here is that uh, the king um, has a, a dream that troubles him. So he calls his advisors and his magicians and his sorcerers together and says, what does it mean? If you don't tell me, I'm going to slaughter you. 
and um, David, uh, Daniel, sorry, steps in and he says, hang on, just give me some time here. I think I can interpret this for you. And then he seeks God and says, please give me your word for, for this king so that these lives might be spared. What can we learn uh, from these, these two short chapters today? I think the first thing would be, uh, let me invite you to ask questions about your lifestyle, uh, the things that you perhaps give yourselves to. Uh, Daniel uh, has, has recognised that not only was it uh, a, a problem for him to be um, feeding on unclean food, but maybe for us in this day and age, it's about moderation. Maybe, maybe we need to think, what do we mean by being moderate about our consumption? Are you uh, giving yourself too much to food? Uh, perhaps too much to to uh, drink, uh, intoxicating drink even. Uh, there's nothing wrong with these things in and of themselves. They're gifts from God. And uh, my encouragement to you this morning is to, to ask yourself the question of moderation. Uh, am I living a life that lines up to scripture? Am I living a, a life that I would be able to hold up the plumb line of God's word and say I'm, I'm building in my life well. The second thing I'd invite you to do is to just to think about your motives, think about your heart motives. Are you are you choosing to, to do something in your life because you want to honour God or is it to satisfy a, uh, a craving or a desire in your own life? Two great questions, two great questions. Why don't you take those questions to God even today and ask uh, him by his spirit to, to help you with those. Just reminded of what Paul has to say in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, talks about our bodies being like a temple. And uh, we're, we're to uh, treat our physical bodies uh, as dwelling places of God. And uh, that immediately helps us to understand, doesn't it, that uh, to be careful with what we do with our bodies, uh, doing everything in moderation and care is an important and wise decision. Let me pray for us. Lord, thank you for this story of Daniel. Thank you for his faithfulness to you and to your word. Lord, thank you that you came and you honoured um, everything that he did. Uh, he, he asked you for wisdom. You granted it. He asked you for help and you came and you rescued. Lord, thank you that you're the same God, Lord. And I pray, Lord, as, as we consider our our lifestyles and our motives, Lord, that as we ask you for wisdom and as we ask you for help, you will come and honour our requests and help us. Thank you that you've sent the helper, the Holy Spirit, to indwell us and help us and guide us, Lord. So I pray for my dear friends and family watching this this morning that that's how our days would be characterised by us seeking wisdom and you helping us. Do pray for it in Jesus' name. Amen. See you later in the week.